a dream did come to me in the night. And the Lord did show all this to me. Praise God! Praise the Lord! A time of tribulation has come. A test is at hand. The final test. What has the Lord commanded? In the dream, the Lord did come to me, and he was a shape. It was he who walked behind the road. And I did fall on my knees in terror and hide my eyes, lest the fierceness of his face strike me dead. And he told me all that has since happened. <laughs> he said, Joseph has taken his things and fled this happy place because the worship of me is no more upon him. So take you his life and spill his blood. I can't eat upon the yeah. earth. But let not the flesh pollute the corn. Cast him instead upon the road. And so it was done. Joseph the betrayer was cast out. And he who walks behind the road did say, I will send outlanders amongst you, a man and a woman. And these outlanders will be unbelievers and profaners of the holy. I wish I could just have a king here. But he's always been here, just like he who walks behind the road. And the man shall sorely test you. For he has great power, even greater than that of the blue man. The blue man! Yeah! The blue man! And just as the blue man was offered up unto him, so shall be the unbelievers. This is GBC, we mix it be doing what we please with the beast and smash up for enemies. This is GBC, we mix it be something MC, free to be the beat up all the MC. This is GBC, we mix it be doing what we please with the beast and smash up for enemies. This is GBC, we mix it be something MC, free to be the beat up all the MC. It's a pro pack, we soon stack with the whole pack and don't rest. Hold back and let it go crack inside your head. Already told you back the fuck up before you get hit with it full blast. Cause we know that you can't take no more of that shit. That's it, it's over, no take it back shit. Savage, the way we let it go when we attack, bitch. Lashing out on anyone trying to come at us. We live for that shit. That's the type of action that happens to a side of hostile reaction. From the chief of seat, you know you fuck up on me laughing while we sizing up these bitches for the slaughter. Right through like a marauder, hunting you down for the cause stronger now. More than when you was at your best. Rest now, cause you know that we just getting started. All the press with the little spot, always ride and die. Hip hop will always live as long as the GBC's alive. This is GBC, we mix it be doing what we please with the beats and smash up for enemies. This is GBC, we mix it be up the MC, free to be the beat up for enemies. This is GBC, we mix it be doing what we please with the beats and smash up for enemies. This is GBC, we mix it be up the MC, free to be the beat up for enemies. Hey, Opal. What up? Streaming or cable? What do you uh, think? It's, that's a complicated question because yeah. uh, since I've gone to streaming, okay, I I've lost con like what's going on, what the new movies are, what the um, what's happening. Is that because like, you uh, don't see the commercials? New toys, but the, see the thing about like uh, streaming is it's all algorithms. Yeah. So I'm only stuck seeing things that have to do with what I'm watching specifically. Or it's yeah, not like yeah. it's not such a wide range of shit that you wouldn't run into. That's true. You fall into like an echo chamber. Even Christmas time, like I don't know what the new fucking toys are for the kids or anything. Yeah. Who knows that? Like, well, it's the kind of fucking well, jacks, the old jacks that they used to use. It's uh, it's interesting because um, a lot of the streaming service, like YouTube, is actually the number one TV channel now. A lot more people are watching it on their uh, couches at home and just chilling. You know? And it's, and it's that's good because you you can do it on the, the TV. All the TVs these days connect to cable. So basically, so when you do yep. when you do, I'm uh, sorry, not cable, uh, internet. So when mm -hmm. you do. Cable, yep. you're not paying, you know, like 200 bucks a month, say. So, and, like you know, a cable in a package, yeah. you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, for, yeah. you know, and then, then you have to do your Amazon Prime, yep. you know, Prime movies, you gotta do your Netflix, you gotta do your things too, and then it will let you do it from your TV. Right. Right, but what good is that? Yeah. So you're paying them like five hundred bucks a month just for entertainment on like TV, like um, stuff that you didn't even do. You didn't even watch. Uh, well, yeah, like, you know? well, the thing about cable is like, you know, is it even really worth it when you could just purchase the stream? And that's what I'm saying. I, feel I when I got away from cable, yeah. I lost my interaction. What's going on? What what yeah. the new toys are? What yeah. well, uh, what the new shows are? So to say, Cause right. like I said, when you do the streaming, all the all the market all the marketing shit you see is targeted just to you. Yeah. Like I'll be sitting there talking about right, fucking. Right, uh, they use all their I want to go camping, and I have ten 
fucking things. things and shit. Yeah, and I'll be, I'll, well, I'm gonna start barbecuing. I got like barbecue yeah. things popping up. And I mean, that's just not what it really uh, would. It's an interesting question. It so, keeps your mind matter of fact, why don't you hit us up in the comments and let yeah. us know? You know, Ask do us, you let prefer us know. streaming? Or do you prefer cable? Or would you even oh, pay for cable? Are you born in that generation that doesn't even know what the fuck cable is? Because yeah. I think that's coming soon. Yeah. 2029. Coming soon. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, again, welcome back to Booth TV. I'm um, Paul AP. I'm BBT. You know what it is. Uh, and um, this right here is Booth Business. Booth Business. All day. So yeah, real Booth okay, Business. Okay, that little. And, uh, you know, we're always going to start with uh, that, that thing we do, right, Paul? Right, which is a thing called Us Versus Us Them, them son. Yeah. And why don't you get out? Hit yeah. us up with your entries. Yeah. Today we've got... Bob, B-O-B, B-O-B. Uh, and that's the name uh, of the beat. OJ Bay. OJ Bay is the Check name of the Check out the producer. producer. Look so, him up on YouTube. Yeah. I don't know what other channels he has, but I bet you he has a link tree. Yeah, and you can find the link to this right. beat in the description below. Uh, and don't forget to hit us up in the comments. That's and, not my job. And, you know, until we uh, until we meet again. I just spit hot fire. Hot fire. Hot, I mean, even Booth. slow hot moon fire T- molten. V. <laughs> Subscribe, like, comment. Share. Yeah, that's better. What up? We're recording? Yep. Yo, right? Yo, we're recording over here, recording over there, yeah. we're recording over here, we're recording over there. Yeah. Paul and P, I'm recording and I'm real weird. Think you fucking staring at me. <laughs> you better stop staring at me because the things that I do when I'm feeling like my fucking privacy and my truths invaded, you don't want to do to you. I don't like feeling like I'm fucking threatened. Never feel like I'm threatened. The second I feel like I'm threatened, and I get up and start fucking dealing with that shit. Yeah, you should deal uh, with that shit. Yeah. We too real with that shit that we spit every time feeling that. When we ripped our peeling back by layers Cause we swearing that's what happens to the game when it falls back Cause we coming through with the strong raps Call that the ghetto booth gospel dog All that shit that you talking to is off Yo, is the ghetto booth fucking gospel When you come over here talking all hostile with me And I don't know why you wanna get in P's face The wrong place to be doing, man So you can fucking bass in the face, man You wanna be staring at me You fucking leave staring all crooked And don't even know who you're staring at Who you looking at, kid? Look at that person over there, over there, fuck with me, you fucking slam the lazy eye over there, ha. Giving me the side eye as I fly by, dog. I just ride the shit every time. It's not a oh, few motherfuckers gonna do a thing. I just chill right there. We just do whatever we want. We don't care. We gon' sit there, smoke up while we're right. spitting shit so rare. We can get these. We don't care. GBT just a pain in the area. In the air. Now you're fucking scared of us. Don't be scared of us. Come fucking smoke some of that fucking bank on your butt and see what's up with us. Fictitious statistics with Polly P. Oh, snap, that's me. 58.97634% of marriages end in separation or divorce. If you met your better half at a wedding, statistically speaking, there's an 87% chance your marriage does not last. The average wedding costs between 10 and 15 grand. Damn, that's a lot of damn dough. Deposits for wedding related expenses are all non refundable. Any one of the previously mentioned is a good excuse for a prenuptial agreement. Protect yourself. Hello everybody out there, welcome to another edition of the Booth Report. I am your host, BBT. Hi, I'm Paul P. and we want to thank you for joining us on our broadcast here, July 10th, 2029. Today marks a historical event for the human species. Trillionaire and ultra-philanthropist Elon Musk has finally achieved his lifelong goal of bringing human life to the planet Mars. The first ever man missing touchdown on the surface of the red planet today, with many excited onlookers watching from the SpaceX headquarters located in Texas. In spite of all the challenges the team faced, this extraordinary group of people were able to overcome all the odds and take a major step in mankind's mission to colonize the universe. This event wasn't without a major twist though, as when they arrived on the planet, they were shocked to be greeted by a fleet of mechanized workers from the Meta X Corporation. In a statement today from the CEO Mark Zuckerberg, it was revealed that he had secretly sent a crew of robots to Mars, beating Musk's group by over a year. Using this to his advantage, Zuckerberg was able to secure the rights to the planet Mars. 
Now, in order for Musk to continue his mission, he has to rent the use of the planet from his longtime rival. This feud between these two moguls continues and has been dubbed by many as a real life Star Wars. More to come on this story as it develops. And now, to you, P. Since the integration of artificial intelligence into top streaming platforms, consumers are now 10 times more likely to say paid content over free programming in their suggested feeds, says a guy wearing glasses on Mass Ave outside MIT. A second person added, if you worry about AI influence on your programming, don't be. You're chained with a story about an Egyptian heiress who reportedly give you $50,000 after a one-time payment of $500. This is not a scam, he assured me, but he's still waiting on his big payday. As AI continues to influence the world around us, people are taking bigger risks to stay ahead of Skynet. Back to you, BBT. Now on some related news, the world's population has been in a steady decline as the birth rates have hit an all-time low this year. The main cause of this has been the constant rise in costs and robots. That's right, robots, specifically sex bots. The surge in population in the sex bot industry has led to a decline in the human relations, with a growing number of people trading their human relationships for synthetic pleasures. We asked some people on their thoughts, and here's what they had to say. Why are you in favor of sex bots? Well, because after you get done with it, you don't have to feed it, don't have to listen to it, don't have to listen to complaining, and you throw it in the closet and be done with it. It's easier. No complications. I don't have to laugh at their jokes. I don't have to listen to stupid pickup lines like, hey, are you from Tennessee? Only 10 I see. Tell me, why do you like sex bots? Because they don't make it fun of my face. Uh, they don't care that I live behind the rows. And plus, I have enough kids already. Despite their growing popularity, there are still many who oppose this new trend, calling it disgusting, unnatural, and a one-way ticket straight to hell, pointing to the growing number of STDs caused by the spread of a second-hand market for sex bots. No matter which side of the issue you fall on, one thing is clear. This industry shows no signs of pumping the brakes anytime soon. Thank you for watching. We'll be back with you next time on another edition of Booth Report. He's been called evil and malicious. He's been labeled a cult leader and a corrupter of children. But tonight on Booth TV, we hear from the man himself. Welcome, my guest, he who walks behind the roads. Oh, thank you so much. A long time fan and watcher. First time on the show with that. Yeah, well, well, thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Now, you are perceived to be this evil entity that has I'm nothing really but not malice bad. towards people. I'm really not bad. You're not that bad? I like petting my corn. You like petting your corn? Yeah, you got corn and you take the pet the corn, you get the pollen down and all the little white hairs and then you get the kernels. Ah, I'm just a corn lover. I'm so you're corn just corn trying ass. to feed people? I'm trying to feed the masses. Yeah? You know how it is. Yeah, I know how it is. You've been there. Yeah. Well, you know, when we uh, when we talk about the he who walks behind the roads, we have to we have to talk about the the cult, so oh, to speak. Oh. Uh, so so oh, tell me, what's oh, it like okay. watching out for all those children? Well, it's actually my uh, oldest son Isaac is kind of a pusher of my good nature. Okay. And my my good will towards men and people. Okay. So he it's kind of he's in the he's in the wheelhouse. He's growing. I let him do his own thing. Okay. That's it. I just walk behind and pet the corn. Yeah. And they, you make believers. Yeah. You make believers out of believers. And and why why is it that you kill all the adults or have your children do that? I don't like competition. <laughs> okay. I'm not a fan of competition. I'm scary. They shit themselves and it's fun for me. Fun for me. For you. No, I don't know about that, but it's fun for me. It's I fun enjoy them. It's just what I do. It's what you do. That's what I do. Okay. Okay. Now you you have uh, you had a, a, another son named Joseph. Um, oh, you Joey. Know. Well, tell, tell us what happened there. Oh, uh, just, you know, it. It wasn't good. It wasn't right for the, wasn't right for the cause. Okay. That's what happened. People start going against things, and it's like, oh. what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You don't need people talking loud that I talk. Oh, yeah? You know what I'm saying? I do. I got corn to pack. You got corn. That's right. Yeah, I got corn to pack. You got corn. Okay, yeah. okay. Right. You know, so so you had to take him out then. No, you know, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do. And one too many backhand that didn't work, I guess. Okay. That's just what it was. Okay. So so um, you know, you you got this other kid named Malachi. Uh, yeah. That that kid's kind of a douche. Yeah, well, he just helped his brother out. <laughs> you know, he somehow pushed the word. And sometimes it'll be a fucking douchebag okay. to make people understand simple things that they just don't get. Oh. That they never get it. And what is the word? 
The word? Yeah. And walk around the roads, forward. Pay attention. Okay. Pay attention. You don't get the word and come to church, we'll teach you. Teach you? We'll meet by the cornfield. What would you say your message that you're trying to get out to people are? Be righteous. Do what you want to do. Uh, eliminate the competition. And, you know, get your kids to do all this shit for you. Because it's hard. <laughs> it's it's hard out here. Especially with mug like this. It's very difficult. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Do you have yeah. any trouble dating? <laughs> well, you know, 14 kids, not that much trouble, but, you know. <laughs> bring them home to the corn patch. They're kind of like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. A couple yeah. bills of hay later. And you're always uh, you're always doing community service like adopting children, right? Well, what are you going to do? All the parents are gone. Someone's going to look after the little fuckers. Okay. You know, someone's got to do it. Yeah. It's and easy when you got all this corn to feed them. Yeah. And they'll shuck that shit out of it for you, too. Oh, yeah? These fucking corn shucking ass motherfuckers. Yeah? Yeah. And, and, and uh, you know, so, so what's the... Uh, What's the what's the one thing that if you wish your children could accomplish in their life, what would it be? Well, they got a following. Okay. That's good. That's good. Right? Yeah. Maybe they move from the the corn fucking field to the fucking barn. To the barn. To the barn. Moving to the barn. Okay. That'd be good. That'd be good. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know, tell tell us uh, how you feel about the police. Uh, I don't really deal with that much. Okay. Cause they don't come into the corn pastures. What happens when they, they don't do? mess with me? They get lost behind the roads. They get lost behind the roads. They get lost behind the roads. I don't know. Huh, I just gotta get it from someone. I'm not saying it was me, but it, it probably was me. It probably was, it was you. me. Yeah, taking control. Right. Let me make the competition. And uh, you know, so so what what's your house look like? Uh, kind of stocky, a little tall, a little bed of grass that matted down. No possessions. You see everything on it. Yeah? He's got for all the kids. It's for the kids? The kids. Okay, okay, okay. And those kids do whatever they want. They sleep where they want. Tree forks in the trees, fucking on cows, under cows. Yeah? They just love the farm. They love the farm. They love it? They love the farm, yeah, yeah. Yeah? They never want to leave? Well, I'm not saying that they don't want to leave, but they better not want to leave. Yeah? yeah. What happens if they leave? They, they, they end up behind the rows. Yeah. <laughs> I got to like Joseph. Rows so tall. Got the people hiding under the rows. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, all right. Yeah. All right. So, you know, uh, he walks behind the rows. He's uh, he's out there. He's taking care of the kids. Uh, he's doing a lot of good work out there. He's preaching my word me too. I'm going to ask him, do they do it? They just do it. They just do it. It's a, it's a devout following. There we go. There we go. So, uh, you know, my dude, welcome. Thank you yeah. for coming on, spreading your message. Thank you. Like, share. subscribe, share, comment. 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 Let's Better get a comment on me. Or you'll be behind the rose. <laughs> you don't want to end up there. Peace. So you funny thing, BBC. What's that? I mean to cut you off, but uh, you know. uh we were filming this yep. and yep. talking about the AI situation and yeah. AI is fucking crazy. And we're talking about sex bots specifically <laughs> in this and kind of touching upon a couple of different things about AI but and you know how it's funny. other algorithms. The sex bots already exist. So oh, I know. It's it. You know, it's gonna happen. I mean, we talk about these funny yeah, things I about the future, <laughs> but the truth is that AI is is the thing and right it's now. Popularity. It's right just like now. as it gains popularity, yep. that's when things pick up in momentum. And I tell you what, you can name that bitch whatever you want. She doesn't complain mm -hmm. one bit. You can change your name in the middle of a, of a session. Yeah. She doesn't smack you in the face if you didn't call her by her actual name. Yeah. I'm not saying I have hands-on experience or maybe a little. Uh, yeah, well, you know. But he's got hands on experience. I call mine my But, anyways, uh, <laughs> no, this AI shit's kind of crazy. I mean, yes. think about it. It's already like, it, it, that, that's one of the main reasons for this writer's strike, right? It's already because, smarter than I am. Well, they, they, they're pissed off because AI is going to start writing scripts and Stu's going to use it. And, and he was saying, too, that they can use like, like, um, fill ins or whatever they call it, the extras. Then they could use their likeness. So they can. I digitally create like shit with their likeness. Yeah. And uh, oh, oh, you mean that? Th yeah. They wanted yeah, them, nice. they wanted to do a full body scan. Yeah. And then you get paid one time, and then they can use it forever as many times yeah, as, as they many want. times you want. So you can become like a famous actor that I even, you know, you got paid like two hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Two hundred bucks to be an extra, and then all of a sudden these people making millions off of. Yeah, and I mean, what, you is, know, a, what is a what is a what is a programmer or a, what is that? Do you hire a programmer, a digital uh, 
digital uh, graphic designer. I, I know what they did. I think what you do if you want to hire a lawyer. Actually, it is Pixar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hire a lawyer. <laughs> All right, so touche yeah. on that one. You know, but hey, you know what? The other crazy so, thing is. What's that? Fucking, no, these, these driverless <laughs> cars, man. You see that uh, shit? What is you it? Uh, that shit? That right there is get your movie. Get your motherfucking movie check. But driverless cars is fucking movie check. <laughs> it's is like it? that monkey that, that does uh, throw his drugs and like hang over three or whatever. You could have bubbles? Each... Yeah. I don't, I don't know, know what, the I don't what his name was. I didn't have a conversation with I him. I don't, I don't remember if it was bubbles. Yeah. No, those driverless cars are, like that's crazy shit. They they tested them out in um in like California uh and Vegas and shit. And like they got these fucking. He's like um, people were fucking freaking out. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Well, here's here's a funny thing, right? So they got these, <laughs> they got these food delivery like. Um, oh yeah, but was that pizza? Thing. Was a uh, uh, Domino's side doing that? A couple of but I've uh, been hearing more more stories that. And was that people fucking, were What was that guy's name? Um, <laughs> the little lightning bolt thing <coughs> that popped in the little lightning bolt thing. Kicked the ass like it just like made a fucking like you know because fucking everybody has like big fucking gouges that just pop up in their roads. What? Uh, the guy it was the Domino delivery guy was pushing having the cars that are self driving. Okay. They have like if anything happens like I'm uh, showing you about the insurance. But they had this fucking like lightning bolt weird guy that just like oh you're driving and fucking bam there's a big fucking thing in the thing you know fuck after that the telephone pole fucking falls over and shit you know like. Huh. Well, Guaranteed well, delivery. I've been hearing uh, funny stories of people that are like attacking these delivery vehicles. Oh, they're going to get that No, that's not the they funniest part. <laughs> but not, the other people are seeing them do this and they're coming to the defense of the robots. Oh. So, isn't that crazy? AI, 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 AI we got man. you back. Yeah. <laughs> You know, do it. Oh, and that's, is that AI? Is it just a fucking car that has like the GPS instructed and it knows where to go? Do yeah. they have all these things that sense things? I mean, it's got to be done by satellites. How I mean, do, do, do they give the car a tip? Well, <laughs> here's a free fucking fill up on well, your tires. Well, a free polishing. Well, here's the fucked up thing, right? Like, um, think about how expensive it is to get a you car fixed. Me to think. Like a car, a car <laughs> you know, fix right you know, now is a lot of money. Think, yeah. But how much do you think it would take to fix a driverless vehicle if uh, it broke? I guess you'd have that's a whole other like a whole other job class and like, people that are oh, yeah. like, trained to, to work on them specifically yeah, and that's like uh, AI I guess it'd be automation and uh, actuation like being a hydraulic specialist of some kind I mean uh, you definitely have, have a lot of coding I think that OSHA might get involved with the production of these vehicles at some point I mean you know OSHA gets saying? involved like, you know, OSHA gets involved with everything fucking anything you fucking dip their little fucking pinky into there that's right but, they uh, got it you know Hopefully you get involved in the conversation. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. Also. Uh, let us know what streaming services you use. You and, know what I'm saying? And, and we'll be there. We will be there. If you need a shoulder to lean on. BBT's right there. Lean on you grow his. <laughs> My um, shoulders are a little rough. But, you know, also, you know, while you're checking out this video, make sure you check us out on Facebook. And that's... Um, you know, we got the Ghetto Booth page. Shine. We got the Booth TV shine. page. You can find shine, us there. Shine on. We got the Reverb Nation. Shine we got the Band Camp. We got the SoundCloud. Oh, we got everything. We got everything. look up at Ghetto Booth. Get a, or Ghetto Booth 1. Yep. Something like that. GhettoBooth.com yeah. and he has his link tree. And look for this fucking things. mug up here. Look yeah. for this fucking guy. Look for that guy right there. This fucking guy right here. Or this fucking guy right here. Because that's what we do in Episode day. 4, guys. And we really appreciate you guys joining in. Comment, subscribe. Seriously, comment, 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 subscribe, share, like. Tell your friends about me, especially if you have hot friends, because I really like to meet them. No comment. And that's that. Oh, hey, hey. Yeah. That's right. BBT. Money bag guarantee. Don't take away my shine. My shine is all I have. So I got. My heat, my love, my beauty, you know, and my glare. One opportunity, one shot. Sometimes that I won't love. That's why we put it all on the line. That's how it is, yo. Shine, you know, that's all I got. My heat, my love, my beauty, that's right. My one opportunity, one shot. Yeah. That I that's why we put it all on the line. I yeah. Yo. Now as I influence the minds of all those attached to it, rappers. 
cause them all to act to it And took these other motherfuckers way past ruin Yeah, I'm that nuisance that keeps on coming back to do it There's no way, no, the kid ain't going away I hold them a bang, click, click, boom Your clicks are blown away from the force I do the thing, don't retort The same, the same thing, to the change of the course Record this is metamorphosis While we change rap And you ain't even got a portion while I'm a main stack No, no, see no support for these bitches with lame tracks Ha, the GBC, all bitches know the cans are back To run them up, get fucked up with us It sucks, don't it? MCs and poets, we know it But we used to be to keep in motion Enemies not chosen if you even try approaches This is my life, and this is my place And I'ma keep shining until my dying day And if I should die before I'm paid It doesn't even matter, I was gonna do it anyway This is my life, this is my place And I'ma keep shining until my dying day And if I should die before I'm paid It doesn't even matter, I was gonna do it anyway I believe in the freedom and power and speech He gives me weapons, it's worth I can use to devour the weak They call me a murderer, the way I kill it all the track It's like I loot and pillage while putting my village on the map And even though I never know, it'll go to set the soul Them have just tap to control I'ma get it though, heaven's all won't ever let it go and let it show Who you know is better, yo, it's what we all about Getting on the track and letting it go Setting the tone, resurrecting the soul From east to west we gon' roll Till everybody in the game knows the name, knows that we don't play We keep it hot and make it rain No, they no more bodies for hold In spite of whatever rhyme is, if it's wind together And present a little better, you kinda like the way we put it down Come find us, never have to remind us that it's our fans and let it shine One love, this is my life, and this is my place And I'ma keep shining until my dying day And if I should die before I'm paid, it doesn't even matter I was gonna do it anyway This is my life, this is my place And I'ma keep shining until my dying day And if I should die before I'm paid, it doesn't even matter I was gonna do it anyway you see me do something different? Want me to rip it? Well listen, I'm on a mission with nothing but well wishes And wisdom I've learned to put me in position Use my intuition for the acquisition of the things that I envision and I will only listen to so much Till I blow up and then it's too late Ain't no way to gain control of us Just know you're fucked Ain't no way to escape the focus clutch Too cold to touch Ain't nobody rolling over us It'll never happen forever And heaven rapping I'm never backing down Oh wait, whoever's scrapping You get a lashing Or a first impression is last Be on serious with a passion To keep in action And act what I speak Never lax in a beat Jack like a pack in a Mac for this beat I got an act to release tracks And keep it coming back for belief In the ability for that which I keep on This path that I This is my life And this is my place And I'ma keep shining until my dying Day. And if I should die before I'm paid, it doesn't even matter, I was gonna do it anyway This is my life, this is my place, I'ma keep shining until my dying day And if I should die before I'm paid, it doesn't even matter, I was gonna do it anyway My shining, my shine is all I have My heat, my love, my beauty, and my pain Oh, my shine, my shine is all I have My heat, my love, my beauty, and my glad It worries me sometimes that I won't love and live a life of sad